Hello everyone and welcome back to another Weather Guy video. Today we will be talking about the October snowstorm. If you like this video, please subscribe. If you're on a computer, click the logo on the right bottom right hand corner. If you're on a mobile device, click the red button below. I'm using tropical tidbits for this video. First we see the radar. Now, focus on right here. That snow moves east into the plains and develops into a stronger storm. That heavy snowfall moves north and east into our target zone. Middle East, North Dakota. Not East East, Middle East. So then, after that wave of heavy snow mo moves through, n another small round of heavy snow moves through and off into Canada. Then, you have the major part of the storm. This upper level low, which develops into its own low, that develops blizzard conditions, wraps around a huge amount of heavy snow into the North Dakota region. That consistent heavy snow results in high snow totals. Next, we'll see the wind speeds and I will prove that this will be a blizzard and the model show it. So here's the low pressure that we're watching. Starts to move north. It's that L right there. This one right here. That has some blizzard conditions up over here in northeast North Dakota. So then the second low develops and that's when you see most of the blizzard conditions right here. This area right here will be in blizzard conditions. Next up, potential snow totals. You can see that in the Rockies, average snowfall. Then as you get into the northern plains, that's where you see the substantial snow totals. Will they see 29 inches? I don't think so. Is it possible? Yes. Is it is it going to happen? Probably not. So don't get your hopes up. I don't think that you'll receive 29 inches. Could I be wrong? Yes. Now around there, between 6 and 10 inches, makes sense. I think that this snows snowstorm is substantial enough that you will get 6 to 10 inches of snow. That's reasonable. But I think that North Central North Dakota, this entire swab of dark greens and blue and uh, bluish, gr dark bluish grays, this, air, this range will probably see between 12 and 18 inches of snow. Not 22 to 32. That's just unreasonable. Next up, temperatures. There is a huge front in this storm. And I'm going to show that to you. This is very visible and it is crazy. So, you see it, right? How can... It just astounds me how clear this temperature drop is. I think, uh, where's the big one? Right there. 20 degree drop. About 10 degree drop. 30 degree drop. All the way down. So between a 10 and 30 degree drop in temperatures just with this front. It's crazy. And it just continues to roll east. And even more outstanding is this right here. Amarillo, Texas. You might be looking at a freeze in October. Okay. Just for reference, New England hasn't even seen 
a freeze yet. But Texas will. But then, that front just continues to move east. And it'll eventually move off the coast. Next up. Mm -hmm. If you live in the Northeast, you've probably seen that it's going to rain all week. And that's because this coastal low is just going to hang around. Here's today, raining. Then, come on. Alright. Then we have tomorrow, rain, moving through the region. Just specifically from Boston to New York is where you're going to see rain all week. Then, here's Friday morning, raining, and in Boston it's going to rain all day Friday. And then, Friday night, Friday night is when this finally starts to move off. But not after it hits Maine. Then, the storm that just hit the, the Northern Plains is going to roll through. But that's a little bit too far in the future to cover. So, if you live in the Northeast, just to let you know, yeah, the end of your week is probably going to be pretty cruddy. So, prepare for that. So, stay safe if you live in North Dakota. Blizzard conditions are nothing to mess around with. Driving in blizzard conditions is 